I'd like to start maybe by saying that uh, I think we have to ask ourselves before we talk about Switzerland and Israel, where is the world going? Yeah. That's, I think, the critical question. And maybe a simple drill that you'll all remember, if you take out your phone from your pockets one, for a minute, take out your phones right now and look at them, these phones that you have in your pocket have more power computation-wise than NASA had when it sent a man to the moon in 1969. Okay? NASA needed $10 billion for this computation. It needed rooms bigger than this one to have the computers. It needed a dedicated power plant. And you have all that in your pocket for $500. I married a Swiss, my, my wife is Swiss, from Geneva, Maureen. And we have a one and a half year old daughter. And when my daughter plays with my phone, I can't help but think she has the capacity to send a man to the moon and back in, her, in my phone. So where is the world going when technology that until 10, 15 years ago used to be in the hands of states, I now have it in my hand. That's the technology that enables get around, that's the technology that enables our current startup. And so the question we should be asking ourselves is how do we adapt? And as much as big companies have a hard time adapting, most recently we've seen Nokia, company that in 2007 had a 62 mark percent market share globally collapsing. As much as the big companies have a hard time uh, uh, adapting, the big question of our times is how do state adapt? And the context of putting technology as a diplomatic tool came in that vein, in, in terms of that thinking. I was fortunate enough to be uh, given a, a vote of confidence by the President of Israel. He was 86, I was 26, um, to actually develop that. And I think that's the critical question. Israel and Switzerland share one thing in common above all the things that were mentioned here. Uh, they are very well equipped towards the future. They are very well equipped towards where the world is going. Because actually, much like you'd prefer to be a small company rather than a big one where the world is going because you're more adaptive, such is the case for states. And with such a great education, entrepreneurial capability, innovation capability, both countries are future ready. Both countries are very adaptive and I think they are ready to move together towards the future. So. In the, in the opening remarks by Mr. Barvanel about Israelis not looking about the past, it's true. Mm -hmm. We should look at where the world is going, where the future is going, and both our countries are very well equipped to adapt and, and work together. Those, those are, I think, the key comments. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you, Anatoly.